Your team needs training. How do you approach it? Where do you begin? My name is Jennifer Mitchell Early. I help individuals and teams achieve organizational and personal success. And this is Leadership Matters. Today, we're talking about what is a training needs analysis. A training needs analysis is the process of identifying the gap between employee training and the training needs of a department or organization. It's the first stage in the training process and involves a series of steps that reveal whether training will help to solve the problem that has been identified. Training is described as the acquisition of skills, concepts, or attitudes that result in improved performance within the job environment. A training needs assessment identifies individuals' current level of competency, skill, or knowledge in one or more areas and compares that competency level to the required competency standard established by their positions or other positions within the organization. The difference between the current and required competencies helps to determine training needs. According to Kim Morrison, author of What Training Needs Analysis Is and How It Can Benefit Your Organization from eLearning.com, there are benefits to organizations conducting training needs analysis. From ensuring you have selected the right training for your organization, to determining all the training that needs to be completed in a certain period, to allowing your team to complete their job as effectively as possible, as well as progress and grow. In the article, she notes three key steps involved in training needs analysis to ensure your business is making the most of the process. One, decide on skill sets. The first step is to decide on the skill sets that you require all your team members to have in order to do their jobs properly. This means looking at every job role within your business separately and considering things like the different departments or levels of seniority, which will affect this as well. Two, evaluate the skills of your staff. The second step is to look at all your team members and evaluate their current skill levels in relation to the skills you have laid out in the first stage of this process. This will allow you to see who is meeting your expectations and who needs to complete further training in order to meet the expected skill level. And three, highlight the skills gap. Now that you know where you want your team to be and the level they are currently at, you'll easily be able to see the gap, if any, that has appeared between the two. Now that you know what the gap is, you need to use training to help close that gap and ensure your team is at the level you expect them to be. As you can see, a training needs analysis should be done first, prior to beginning a new project. After all, why would you risk sending your staff for training to resolve an issue that isn't training, education, or skills related? but rather an issue of condition, for example, not having the proper resources, materials, tools, et cetera, to do the job. The needs analysis together with a learning and development professional enables management, you, to make informed decisions about the best ways to address competency gaps among individual employees, specific job categories, or groups and teams, as well as provides tangible benefits for, for an organization such as the ability to identify knowledge gaps before they become a problem. Help in forecasting annual training, highlighting training opportunities not previously considered, ensuring your training is focused on the right areas, and most importantly, it helps you to prioritize training needs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload new content. See you in my next video.